What I've enjoyed most about this year's IOF conference is just seeing the momentum build in the field. We are really approaching a transformative time in healthcare, and we're just seeing the convergence and confluence of so many critical pieces that are going to push interventional orthopedics and push orthobiologics really into being a frontline treatment for patients who have musculoskeletal conditions or need non-operative care. So what am I most excited for at this year's conference? It's number one, it's fantastic to see all of the past research, current research, and things on the horizon being presented in one format, in one place, uh, where it's well summarized by leaders in the field. You can't just go and learn how to inject these products and just hope for the best. You need to have a rationale, you need to have an approach. You know, it needs to be vetted and scientifically researched as much as possible. You know, I think Dr. Centeno is doing the best job possible in this field, in this space, to really kind of quantify what we're doing and be able to measure it. IOF was kind of a discovery after the fact, um, but obviously a necessary entity for you to actually become, evolve into this field. I'm mostly excited to learn about the current research that's being done in the field of regenerative medicine, what's been done in the past, uh, where things are moving in the future. Also particularly interested to hear uh, people who are practicing both in orthopedics and regenerative medicine and look at the differences in how they would treat a patient um, with both a surgical background and a regenerative medicine background and how much um, people seem to be moving more towards using less invasive uh, treatment techniques and uh, biologics for helping patients get back to where they need to be. I truly believe that interventional orthopedic is a new medical specialty that bridges the gap between conservative orthopedic care and invasive surgery with a very promising future.